The purpose of this video is to quickly highlight how you can manually edit the GIS layer information that's automatically created in HEC HMS. So in this example, I have my Punxsutawney Basin. I have it selected over here in the Watershed Explorer, and I've already gone through the GIS workflow. So I've pre-processed my sinks and my drainage. I've set my identify streams threshold, inserted my breakpoints, and then delineated my elements. So now I have a nice geo-referenced basin model with sub-basin elements and a reach element. And so I have everything set up how I want it. However, I noticed in this punks local sub-basin that I have selected, if I zoom in to the perimeter of the sub-basin, there's a self-intersecting polygon. And HMS is smart enough to, to recognize not to include this in the area computations. As you see, I have the sub-basin selected and it's not highlighting this portion. But nonetheless, I you know, just wanna go in and kind of clean this up. And so to do that, I need to access the SQLite file. Um, so for each basin model in your HMS project, it's gonna have in a SQLite file named after it. And that's what stores all of this um, delineation information. So your sub-basin delineations, your reach delineations, and your discretization delineations as well. So just to be safe, since I am editing this project, I'm gonna go ahead and um, close HMS. Over here on the right, I'm within my uh, project directory. And sure enough, here is my Punxsutawney SQLite file. Over here on the left is QGIS software. And so this is an open source G GIS software, and it is readily available on the app portal uh, to download and install. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my SQLite file over to QGIS, and I get to select from different layers. In this example, there are actually two layers that I wanna edit. There's the subbasin layer, and then the discretization layer, which is, all, which is based on the subbasin sub layer as well. So I'm gonna add those two layers. I'm just gonna choose the first uh, transformation here that pops up. Let me go ahead and make the QGIS screen bigger. And I'm gonna zoom in to the area that I wanna edit, which I believe is this little corner up here. Get a little closer, there we go. And I am going to uh, start off with the subbasin layer. So I'm gonna select it. And then the, the yellow pencil icon is what's gonna allow me to edit this layer. And now I'm gonna select the vertex tool. And so what I can do is, you know, I can manipulate these vertices however I want to. But in this example, I'm mainly interested in just deleting this self-intersecting portion. So I'm gonna click and, and drag. And then on my keypad, I'm gonna hit the delete button to delete the selected vertices. Looks like I have a few more that I need to delete. And once I am satisfied with my edits, I can toggle off the pencil icon and then save them to the SQLite file. So I'm good to go with my subbasin layer. Let me um, deselect that. And now I wanna do the same for my discretization layer. So I'm gonna select discretization, toggle on my pencil icon and my vertex tool and go through the same exercising, uh, exercise of selecting and deleting vertices. All right, satisfied with that. So I'm going to save my edits. And then now I am going to um, close out of QGIS, reopen HMS, and hopefully we'll see those edits um, in the, the map pane. All right, so I have my subbasin selected. I'm gonna zoom into that area that we just edited. And sure enough, looks like we took care of that self-intersecting polygon.